boys and girls, and welcome back to another science lesson with Mr. O'Sullivan. Hopefully we've already discussed and you've already listened to and understood why volcanoes happen and how they form. In order to create something with paper mache, you need several ingredients. First, you need a bowl to mix one cup of water and one cup of flour. We then mix them together until there are no more lumps in the flour. So, let's mix. We now have our flour and water mixture exactly how I want it. Not too thick and not too watery. It's now time to take our newspaper and rip that up into little strips. That is how we're going to construct our volcano. Let's rip. We now have our newspaper ripped up into tiny little strips and we are going to take them and put them into our bowl of flour and water and let them soak for about 10 to 20 minutes. So let's get to it. Where am I? What's going on? No, no, I, I have to be dreaming. This can't be real. Oh! Moana? I gotta be dreaming now. Oh. Oh. Volcanoes. Ah! Hi, boys and girls. What we were just doing was um, making a volcano, not near a real volcano. And we are about to move on to the next step. So the paper is all soaked in the water and flour mixture. Now we have to construct our volcano. So we need to start with the main vent. Now the main vent is going to be this bottom. The main vent is what takes the liquid magna, the molten rock from underneath the mantle. As it gets pushed out to the surface, it goes through what is called the main vent, as we've learned. The bottle is going to mimic that main vent. That's gonna be our little main vent. Now, as it comes out, it erupts out of the crater at the top. There is no crater, so we're just gonna use the hole at the top of the bottle. That'll be our crater. We still need to finish the cone shape of the volcano. So that is where the chicken wire is going to come in handy. We are going to build the chicken wire around the bottle to give it that cone shape of a cone volcano. Now, some volcanoes have side vents where little holes and uh, side vents come out the side and erupt uh, molten rock or lava out the side of the volcano. But we can't do that because this is just a bottle and we would have to drill holes in it and stuff like that. And I'm already using most of the things that my parents own and I don't really feel like messing the house up. So let's get to work on building that volcano. So I now have our chicken wire in the shape of our cone volcano. We have our main vent, the bottle, uh, going through the center of our volcano. Now all I have to do is take the paper mache and lay it over to give it that volcano shape. the shape of our volcano. We've created one of the coolest cone volcanoes I've ever seen. I don't know about you. 
I feel like I saw one recently. It must have been a dream or something. Anyway, we are now finished with the volcano and we will be doing a live eruption at some point next week. So keep an eye on the Google Classroom to make sure you don't miss it. Thanks for watching me build the volcano. Thanks for learning about volcanoes and I'll see you again soon. I don't get it. I try so hard. I make volcanoes, I make funny videos, I post on Google Classroom every morning. And guess what? Nobody says anything. Nobody does the work. Check your Google Classrooms, boys and girls, that's all I'm asking. But they won't. They won't check their Google Classroom. That's all I'm asking. Uh, man. I don't know if it's even worth it anymore. <sighs> okay, going back on camera. Get it together. <sighs> <sighs> so now that we have our vo Man, my mom would kill me if she saw me doing this. Look at the mess I'm making. There's flour and water everywhere. Luckily, she won't be home today. Hello, I'm back. Hi, mom. What are you doing? No, nothing. I'm not doing anything.